c'est prêt. Rends les choses faciles. Et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile. So actually, let me explain. So this is how Cuban nightlife is. People don't even go to clubs. What really happens is people just go in the streets, walk in the streets, and drink in the streets and party. Here, clubbing and other things, like going inside the club, people really don't like that. So people are just here in the streets. You can see all over, like, all along all this. This is called that is 23 and uh, yeah, it's at the center it's very close to where I live and it's very very popular to party so don't expect it to come to a club or anything just pe people just walk along the roads and that's how the nightlife goes and you know as you go down you go and meet the Malikon street so that is Cuba nightlife man it's quite different from many countries this is super super different yeah i'm so dark here i'm in a tree but i think it's the perfect position where i can explain this so but you can see cuba has really really beautiful girls man yeah it has really beautiful girls so i hope you give the video a like man kindly share i just go out here to do these things for you this, so this is actually cuba. i think i'm gonna walk this way Oh, 
As you can see guys, it's like in Havana, people don't even go to clubs, people walk in the streets, like just up and down and party, drink, meet friends, yeah, and for example, there's a park right here, and that park is like um, internet park, it's all like people, like food. <laughs> So actually, that's an internet park, and as you see, it's full of people, people are just like surfing internet as they party. That's how nightlife is here, man. It's so crazy. So it's quite, quite different from many places I've been to. It seems maybe because people don't have a lot of money to go and party and maybe drink a lot. So people prefer like just being in the streets. And um, I stay right here. I'm home. So I'm just gonna go home. Put the camera down, then go party, you know. <laughs> yeah, I just also wanna have a good time here, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. Thank you guys, I'll see you in my next one. Please, please, man, share the videos. Give a video a like, man. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Just give a video a like, and uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All I need is you, baby, baby.
porque que la tiene la invierte la plata. Y el que le cae porque tiene suerte, o si no es porque está entre la gente, o puede hacer que viva del ambiente, o puede hacer que tenga mucha mente, o puede hacer que sea familia el presidente. Entiéndeme, compréndeme, entiéndeme. Y no hace falta que sea un profesional. Y no hace falta que tenga talento musical porque si tiene plata te van a ayudar y te pueden hacer profesional, ¿viste? De eso es que se trata, ¿de qué? ¿de qué? De que todo no debía ser la plata, pero es. De eso es que se trata, ¿de qué? ¿de qué? De que todo no debía ser la plata, pero es. En particular, yo quiero referirme a lo musical. ¡Que viva Cuba! Yo, welcome to Havana. It's crazy, man. When I walk in the streets here, people recognize me not because of my face or how I look like, but because of this. These shoes, man. And imagine, it's one of my subscribers on YouTube who brought me these shoes, man. Shout out, wherever you are, my boy, man, you're watching this. So I'm walking here in Havana and I see like, all guys especially young guys looking at me i'm like what's up then they all point at my shoes man habana Mira a ver si lo que traigo aquí a ti te gusta Yo no vengo aquí a causar problemas ni a armar disputa Que va, que va Se trata de una cuestión de rompimiento Con un esquema profesional En particular yo quiero referirme a lo musical Entiéndeme, compréndeme Quiero hacerlo con lo tradicional y actual No es cierto que la vida está dura Tengan cuidado, no se pongan a hacer locura No es menos cierto que la música que se está haciendo hoy está muy fuerte Porque que la tiene la invierte la plata Y el que le cae porque tiene suerte O si no es porque está entre la gente O puede hacer que viva del ambiente O puede hacer que tenga mucha mente o puede hacer que sea familia el presidente. Entiéndeme, compréndeme, entiéndeme. Y no hace falta que sea un profesional. Y no hace falta que tenga talento. Wow. Look at that sun, man. It's magnificent. So beautiful. And it's just going down like slow mo, you know, in a slow motion, like. Yeah, so, <laughs> right here, okay. <laughs> yeah, they were posing for my camera and I was like, man, let me, let me just show them, man. They look so cute. Okay, bye. So, man, it's so, so beautiful here in Havana. And I'll end this video here, man. If you really liked my video, look where I'm seated, right there. And that wall runs. So if you really liked my video, kindly give it a like, subscribe, share to a friend. I really, really appreciate your support, man. This is my livelihood. YouTube, I live by YouTube, I travel by YouTube, man. Just support me. Sh sh share, man. You know. Musical porque si tiene plata te van a ayudar y te pueden hacer profesional, viste? De eso es que se trata, de qué, de qué, de que todo no debía ser la plata, pero es. De eso es que se trata, de qué, de qué, de que todo no debía ser la plata, pero es. En particular, yo quiero referirme a lo musical. ¡Que viva Cuba!
name is Marwa and I'm in Havana, Cuba. So today I'm meeting some two beautiful uh, Cuban ladies. Yes. Uh, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Janice Lady. Janice Lady. Uh, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Talia. 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 Wow. You can see how beautiful they are. ¿Cómo es los citas aquí? Mi pregunta es, ¿cómo es los citas aquí? Bueno, las citas aquí en Cuba son, tú me invitas a comer, Ajá. yo voy, me invitas a follar, yo follo contigo. Hacemos el amor, ha hacemos el amor y tú me tienes que pagar. Oh, el amor aquí es para pagar. Claro, aquí el amor tiene precio. Eh, ¿Precio? ¿Cómo, claro. ¿Cómo cuánto? ¿Cómo cuánto? Eh, 60, 80, de 30 hacia arriba. <risa> Si sí, una hombre, okay. tú, tú responder, ok. No, 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 no. Si una hombre, si un hombre quiere busca una chica cubana sí. y salir con ella a país, sí. es posible claro para, que, cansa, para cansar. Claro que es posible, lo que tienen que casarse, tener un matrimonio, porque aquí las salidas son ilegales. Si tú pagas el pasaje, lo pagas todo, no hay problema con eso. Ajá. ¿Y tú qué, qué tú piensas? ¿Es posible para cansar por un chica eh, cubano o es...? Eh. No, cubano no. Que si es posible, es si es posible ellos casarse con una chica cubana. Sí. Explica un poco. Explica no. por qué y cómo es no, que no, las no, comen no, las salsa. No. Venga, dale para mí. Okay. Tú no eres cubano. Dale, responde. Okay, otra... Después de esto tienes que regalarnos una cerveza. Oh, oh, una cerveza. Claro, que sea. Hey. They just got married in Cuba, man. Hey, you can also give a video a like, you know, just to support me. So today I'm gonna teach you the most expensive thing to own in Cuba. And guess what is it? Yeah, to own a car. To own a car, I mean to own a private car in Cuba, is very, very expensive. And today, I wanna teach you the different types of cars on the roads of Cuba. Who owns them, how much it costs, and uh, how to identify a car if it's private it's maybe it's a public car or if a car is owned by maybe the government or if the car is owned by an individual who is let's say like a foreign you know like a foreign envoy so i'm gonna just teach you many things about like owning a car in cuba so i hope you guys will just enjoy the video i just feel like ah uh, because i want to teach you just more how like uh, a socialist government works. It's nothing political. I'm not trying to underrate anything, man. I just have to be very clear with this video. I'm just trying to give you information, you know, if maybe. Isn't 
in Cuba which have like their number plates. You know number plates? Yeah. They have like a, a blue a blue sticker. Then from a blue sticker we have a, a, a letter. For example, let's see this car right here. Like that car, it, it has a blue sticker as like on this side, then after that it has like a B a B digit. That's it. B means it's public. So it's owned by the government. So it's owned by the government, but you may find like a private guy has just borrowed it to use it and he's paying, okay? He's paying maybe per month or he's paying a it depends, maybe per year or you already paid up front. So those are the B numbers. So let's do the next one, which will be a P with no stick at all, okay? So like right here, I can see one, I can see that. That one is a P. P means it's privately owned. So that means a person by him or him or herself bought this car from maybe a different country and he paid tax and this is a Russian car and they're the most common cars here in Cuba like most people have this type of cars because you know having a car in, in, in Cuba is like having gold yeah it's purely, it's purely like having gold here in Cuba so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you this type of cars which are very common here and uh, they are from Russia so, right. Those are the types of cars in Cuba. So those are the most common cars here in Cuba. Like they are in in different in in different colors. Like there's one here which is red. You can see that down there. Yeah, it's the same type. Even the neighbor right here. So, and you see down here we have a sticker which is uh, written Cuba. Then it starts to be so that is public. Anytime you see a blue sticker, it's public. So right here we have a blue sticker. Blue sticker, sorry, it's I don't know. I'm I'm in these trees. You see here, so it's dark. So we have a blue sticker, but it's with T. So that car has a blue sticker, and it has a T beside it. That means that car is only used for tourists. It's tourismo, tourismo. So the car, the main purpose of that car is just to do things which are totally touristic. Totally, totally touristic. So most cars here, most cars, most, most cars here are owned by the government. So you may think like, oh, this guy is rich or uh, he owns this car. Totally it's not. So a car like that here in Cuba, it's 25,000 US dollars, yes, 25,000 US dollars, 25,000 US dollars. So I'm gonna explain why you see those those Porsche cars, very, very fancy, the old one, the old, old type of cars. I wanna teach you how they, they came to be in Cuba, like why Cuba has very many old cars. So actually, I brought you to this place where they are like classic cars and you're gonna see what I'm telling you. Like for example, you can see this car over here. It is a V and that is the car right there. You see? So that car is not owned by the owner, it's owned by the government because it has it has the number plates starting with the blue sticker you can see the difference between that yes so all stickers with the b the blue then b that is 
owned by the government and the other sticker that you didn't see anything like the other one that I showed you, plain one with P, starting with letter P, that is, that is totally private, yeah. And I have a friend here, I'm gonna show you, uh, my friend is one of the coolest guys here. So you can tell this is the government car. The super class. Also, that's yeah. So, as you see, all these cars I've shown you, they're very classic cars, they're owned by the government. And uh, I want to teach you more about these cars and how they came to be in Cuba, like many of them. Actually, guys. I'm gonna introduce you to one of my best friends, one guy I met here in Cuba, man, and he turned out to be one of my best friends right now. And he looks like one of my friends in Kenya, his name is Mutesi. And this guy is a big boss here, man. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Esteban. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Esteban. Yes. So <laughs> for me to be professional, for me to be professional is three things. Yeah. One, be a smile, be nature, be on time, uh -huh. and give all that the guests need. And uh -huh. this is what I give to my friends. So this guy is like the boss. He's the guy who like... You see those fancy cars you see in Cuba? He's the guy that controls them, like he's the, he's the main guy. So he's gonna tell you about like him and I show you the cars. Right here we have a car. Tell yeah. about yourself. Uh, this is very nice car, you mm -hmm. understand? And we can make a nice tour around the city because Havana is a very big city. Mm -hmm. so and Havana divide in two parts. Old Havana and New Havana. Mm -hmm. Old Havana is like a tiny stop. Mm -hmm. Remember that Havana was Las Vegas before Las Vegas, and oh. all biggest mafia was here. Oh. We are talking about Mary Laskin, Luke Luciano, Tony Montana, and we can go to the country club, we can see the forest of Havana, Mahama Gandhi Park, Fusterlandia, we can see the Ernest Hemingway, the Nobel Grammy. Okay, we can see the Capitolium, the lighthouse, and this is Cuba, this is Guantanamo Base. If you want to visit my country, you just come here and contact me for so, this car. Yeah, let me just put your car right there. Yeah, it's, it's very clear. Mm -hmm. I so, tried to make the best for you. <laughs> How much per, per ride? Like, if somebody wants to take a ride here? Depends, you understand? Mm -hmm. Depends what the people want, but uh -huh. we are professional. So, we play for NBA, mm -hmm. no oh. bullshit. <laughs> So you hear how he says it depends. So it depends maybe how he looks at you or how you guys present yourself. How many yourself. hours do you want to make? How? You understand? Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's like there's no fixed price, right? That's right. There's no fixed price because it depends how you show up. <laughs> and depends what you want. You understand? Uh, yeah. What you want, what you get. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he says you get what you want, guys. So. Uh, but I really recommend him, but he has been like one of my best friends here in Cuba and so far, like yesterday he took me in his car, man, up to my door place, yeah, and he left me there. But he really looks chill and... Take the front of my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have many one here. So you can show us and tell us the names if you want. Take see, us the tour, see, man. See, see, see. Yeah, guys, yeah, This is Bill 1952. Uh -huh. Bill 1952, seven years before of the revolution. Oh, seven years before the revolution. The revolution was in 1959. Uh -huh. And right here. Este es mi hermano, que año So, man, these, these are the Cuban cars and they are super, super, Bill super 1955. famous. Bill 1955. This is? The Bill 1955. 1955. 1955. Four years before the revolution. <laughs> okay, but this is the more safe country in the world. I was uh -huh. in Israel, in Haifa, in Greek, mm -hmm. in Amsterdam because I work in a cruise line from 1996 until 2004. Why? Why is the revolution so important? Why is the why revolution? the revolution? Yeah, so important. So important. Yeah. Because make a school for babies, mm -hmm. safe country, yeah. good health. Uh -huh. Nobody died for play of food. Yeah, and yesterday you told me about mortality and... And this is the one of the best countries that more babies born, that more babies died. Uh, yeah. You understand? <laughs> this is very important in the life, baby. Yeah. Take us to that, to those two, then we can stop our tour. Right? Okay, over there. Mm. El Puyo del 55. 
56. This is for 1928. Dime. Sí, ven. For 1928. For 1928. And this is Chevrolet 1956. 1956. Yeah. How many years before the revolution? Eh? Three years before the revolution. <laughs> eh? yeah. I know very good mathematics. <laughs> yeah, I have to put that. Man. Okay, this is the guy that wanna make me my family go up <laughs> because he told me that he wanna send me friend. Yeah, guys, I really, I really recommend if you're in Cuba or if you're coming down here for a honeymoon with your girlfriend, man, reach this guy out, man. He has a, real, a really, really good heart. And it, as long as you say it's Mara who brought you here, man, the prices will be good. Yeah, man, you know, sometimes I meet very nice people in the streets and uh, I know this video will have an impact somewhere, someday for you. Or maybe in the future, man, every day as people watch this video, kindly check his work, man, and have a ride here, you see. Yeah, this car is super yeah, eh? very so, nice. So, man, what is your message to people? Palace to Consejo. To the people. Coming to Cuba, yeah. Okay. Man. With the cars and everything. Uh -huh. You you must come into Cuba yeah. with two things very important. Uh -huh. One, respect. Yeah. And the second, love. love. This is Cuba. Respect and love. Mm -hmm. Take care. God bless you. God bless your country. And God bless your family. Yeah. The best for you. I have car in everywhere waiting for you. Yeah. And when you come into my country, yeah. Don't come with American Express. Oh, yeah. Because if it is not, don't work here. So, with any car that no American bank inside. Okay? okay. So you guys, if coming to Cuba, don't come with any type of bank account which is American associated because they will not work in Cuba, man. And that's just a tip for those traveling to, to Cuba. And we're gonna end this here. And maybe next time we see this video, maybe I'll be one. Yeah, we wanna his, make we uh, wanna make a nice video when he tell me. I wait yeah. for him because he's very busy man. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you, bro. Bye, say man. bye. Say bye. bye.